Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our market leading stocks via our proprietary scans powered by uh, QLink from eSignal for the coming session. This is going to be for Tuesday, May 20th, 2014. Got a kind of a smattering of, uh, of uh, signals on both sides, but I think the, uh, the real takeaway here is that it's the first day of the new option cycle. And uh, if you can see the, the volume col column here, there's a lot of deviations to the downside. So volume is very, very light today. A little bit to the sell side on balance here with the signals, but taken in context with a very, very light volume doesn't mean much. Netflix is having a pretty strong day, up 5% above the day's open, but that one's posting an RPS sell condition. and also has decent volume relative to its peers today. Also got a similar condition in EA, but that one's got, uh, got much less volume. So I would definitely concentrate on the Netflix uh, for the next session. Moving on to the financials, again, light volume. Got a couple of buy signals here. Got an, a CPS and Wells Fargo and one in U.S. Bancorp. U.S. Bancorp is trading decent volume. We've also got an open-close deviation here in CME. That's posting a very, very bullish candle on the daily chart today. Huntington Bancorp is also about 2% above the day's open. So we've got pretty good pretty good strength uh, you know, relative in the, uh, in the, in the uh, banking sector overall here. It's not too much that's really lower. Moving on to the energy names, again, light volume. A um, couple of buy signals, one sell signal. Um, the rig is a downside CPS. This one actually looks decent because it's got uh, decent volume relative to uh, whatever, whatever everything else is trading today. Market generals pretty much paired off here on, on mostly light volume. Best Buy um, flipping around here and has a uh, pretty good deviation here, open close deviation. It's, it's solidly above the VWAP right now. It's just kind of flirting uh, between an RPS and a CPS, depending on how, how high it closes relative to the high of the day. Um, not really seeing too much else here as far as deviations. Um, 3M is, is pretty decent. It's got an RPS to the downside, but it's got a light volume, unfortunately. Housing names, uh, a couple of contra candles. We've got one in Toll Brothers and also one in Home Depot. Hobnanian is trading decent volume, and that one's really weak today. Um, so they continue to pound this thing. Um, FedEx, big volume bump today. Uh, it's trading fairly well, and it's decently above the day's VWAP. And finally, on to the commodities. Um, you know, not a, not, a, not a real bias here as far as, as the signals go. A couple to buy, a couple to sell. Newmont's pretty weak. Uh, it's got a downsized CPS, and it's 3% below the day's open, so that might be one to, to look at uh, for tomorrow. Gold uh, was, was fairly strong earlier in the day, and that's uh, giving back all its gains and going out flat on the day here. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.